is me again, Rowan Huang. <laughs> in this particular episode, I'm going to answer some questions. Uh, before I begin, let me first introduce, introduce myself. My name is Rowan Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. In this particular episode, I'm just going to obviously answer some unanswered questions. But <laughs> hopefully, no more questions I need to answer. Well... <laughs> or only answering my own term. So anyway, for the first questions, and some people would like to know in the psychic point of view, how do I um, explain the, I think the word is called vitiligo. Vitiligo? It's basically the skin disease that Michael Jackson has, the white patches. And people would like to know uh, from a psychic point of view, why does people have that? Um, Actually, it caught my attention for a really long time. I did look into it, believe it or not, so I can answer you. From a psychic point of view, I do notice for people who suffer through the vitiligo, uh, most likely in their soul command, they have a sense of call incomplete. You know what I mean? The sense of incomplete, and then they are not able to find that sense of balance, usually have a lot to do with their self-identity, who they are what they are and then to fully come to like acceptance of this is what I am. Um, it seems to be very consistent journey for those people who suffer through this kind of um, uh, disease. But coincident, this might be coincident too, by accessing those people's uh, database, I can also see they have suffered to mostly two things in their past memory. One is water, one is fire. That is, um, in their past life, it seems to be the consistency of those soul have suffered through um, some kind of drama either caused by fire or caused by water. So with their skin disease that they are dealing with, believe it or not, have a lot to do with what their mindset was when they are suffering through those kind of um, experience. So it have a lot to do with self, uh, self identity incomplete. Does that make sense? So anyway, um, if you don't understand, maybe we'll come back and talk about this in detail, but I'm just here quickly answer this particular question. If you are curious and wonder what caused this in a soul perspective, I mean, sure enough, there are, you know, I mentioned this before, I'm only one third of the answer. You can inquire more answer from the expert out there, and then they might give you a more dis a clear description professional description too. So I'm simply sharing uh, from a psychic point of view what caused the vitiligo. I'm so not sure if I pronounce it right, but you know what I meant. It's basically the white patch disease that Michael Jackson has. So anyway, the second question is, a lot of people, especially in Asian people, they, they tend to suffer through the long working hours, right? So after they get out of work, they, they are dealing with uh, the exhaustion. So when it comes to weekend, they tend to sleep through the weekend. So um, this particular person would like to know, in this kind of situation, how can one make themselves feel um, energized or, and they can deal with their test of life? Um, soul itself can be self-generated energy. I mentioned it so many times. You can do it through a proper sleep, like deep sleep, you can most likely feel energized. You can learn to let go of things. But if you want to ask me what can keep you energized most of the time, it seems like you have used this energy. The key thing is you have to find something that you truly like to do. That particular thing doesn't have to do with your, uh, your work. It could be your personal interest. If you like to hike, you like to do bungee jumping, you like to go rollerblading, you like to go something, I will say treat it as important as your work. You know, even though you will say, oh my God, but it's gonna, you know, take extra time to do that. It's gonna do some effort. If that's truly what your passion is, you will see once you find a passion is continue feeling you feel, right? So you will do the work, but some reason you're looking forward to get out work and get that things done because while you were doing it, as tired as you could be, you mentally, spiritually will actually feel even more general, like, you know, 
energized. So that is something I will suggest. Find your passion. If you don't know what your passion is, try everything. Try everything because you don't know unless you try it really. So get out a try and most likely you will feel like burst of energy seems to come in. I get it, you're kind of tired, but try to fit in your passion into your um, daily life. You know, if you cannot do it three times a day, a week, at least do it once a week. You know what I mean? So then you will see how that will make the difference. Okay, the third question is, somebody would like to know if you buy a brand new item, how do you know um, it carry the good energy or bad energy? <laughs> like how do I identify? Listen, <laughs> I say this many times already. If it's a brand new item, you know, unlikely you will have good or bad energy. Well, maybe depending on the maker. If the maker coming with a good energy, you will feel it. But if you, if one item that contain bad energy, I would have to say majority of, majority of people will feel it. You know what I mean? You will kind of feel it. How do you feel it is you feel something's wrong or you feel off and you couldn't quite describe what it's like or you couldn't quite describe exactly what it is. You know, usually that means, I would not say it's good or bad energy. I would just simply say it's the energy that doesn't work with you. It doesn't quite work with you. So if you feel that off feeling, guys, exercise your own sense because trust me, your sense is probably way more accurate than what I tell you. If you continue to exercise it, you, you too can be a psychic, you know? So exercise that muscle. Eventually you are able to tell what's good or bad for you. So if you come into the situation, you actually don't know. You're like, oh my God, I got this new thing, but I'm a little bit worried about it and I don't know what to do. Um, as I say, mentioned so many episodes before, um, you could using some kind of um, aromatherapy, some kind of incense to clear the energy before you bring it home or even after you bring it home, you can do some kind of cleaning before you using it, start using it. So there's a lot of way of doing it. You can let it expose to sun and sun and moon and then rinse it with, you know, water with some sea salt. That's one way you can use the incense to clean it, you can use sage to clean it, you can use, you know, there's so many ways to clean it, really, I don't know. So really the best way for you to, is if you really worry about it, just, you know, try to do a little bit intentional cleaning. So that will kind of um, secure, secure the energy before you bring it home. But if you're not sure about it, just don't even buy it really, <laughs> because you're, you are so no, okay? okay? So, I mean, really, I really believe your soul know way more than I can tell you. So try to exercise the muscle, it goes a long way. So anyway, um, quick question. As usual, I answer three questions at a time and there are more, but I'll come back to it some other time. So again, if you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Facebook or go to subscribe my YouTube channel or my website, ruwen.com. Till then, next time, bye.